everybody. My name is Molly Isbell, as your teacher said, and I'm the director of special events for the Leukemia Research Foundation. Um, first of all, I just want to thank all of you for the tremendous job you did raising funds for us. Um, you guys really did an awesome job. Um, also, I too read the book, and uh, the book really struck a chord with me because I have also been touched by leukemia. My only sister, Cassie, was diagnosed with acute myelogenous leukemia in 1993. I identified really with Stephen in the book, although he was first really in denial about his brother's diagnosis and was kind of even feeling a little bit jealous about his brother getting all the attention. He eventually came around and found a way to be a real source of support for his parents and especially for Jeffrey. I wouldn't say that I went through the same feelings of jealousy because when my sister was diagnosed, we were both adults. But I can tell you that there is a complete feeling of helplessness when a member of the family is diagnosed with cancer. Cancer really does affect the entire family, just as you read in the book. So when Mrs. Galley said to Stephen, go work on the things that you can change, this was really good advice. Stephen could have stayed holed up in his basement, playing the drums and feeling sorry for himself. Instead, he decided to really be there for Jeffrey. And as for me, I was at the hospital with my sister, Cassie, every day for the 203 days she was there. For my sister, I took on the roles of patient advocate, manicurist, caregiver, wig model, confidant, sleepover buddy, bone marrow donor, and television daytime critic. And then at the end, uh, administer final intentions. Uh, you see my sister, after seven and a half months after she was diagnosed, Cassie lost her fight with leukemia. She passed away on March 17, 1994, at just 27 years old. My entire family felt very angry and very helpless. It wasn't fair that someone so full of life, with her whole life ahead of her, was taken from us. So a few months later, we turned our despair into a celebration. We planned a fundraising event for the LRF in Cassie's memory. Everyone turned out to celebrate Cassie that day. And we raised $22,000. We continued our fundraising efforts for about four years and eventually raised a total of $100,000. The experience of going through this changed me so much that fast forward to today, I now work for the LRF raising funds for special events. I would like you all to know that your fundraising efforts will help support patients and their families that are currently dealing with a leukemia diagnosis. When Mrs. Alper said in the book, we have very good insurance, but this all adds up, the co-pays, parking, food, gas, and tolls. And when Stephen said, the total expenses after three months of treatment are unbelievable, like the entire cost of a college education. And he said, I think I'll be attending the University of, would you like some fries with that? <laughs> Sadly, this is all very true. Many patients are faced with the decision of whether to buy their medications, or food each month. Thank you for helping us help them. You really have made a difference.